videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Vin Diesel is an American actor who rose to fame thanks in very large part to his role as Dominic Toretto in the Fast and the Furious franchise. A character who is all about one thing, never losing a fight. Even if it's against someone much bigger than him like say The Rock. Sorry, what I really meant to say is that Dominic Toretto was all about family. I don't have friends. I got family. Well. And thanks to this action franchise making Vin one of the wealthiest actors on the planet, he gets to share in all of that success with his own family, including his longtime partner, Paloma Jimenez and their three children. Vin first met his future baby mama in 2007, but seven years before that, in the year 2000, he cashed in the paychecks he'd made on some of his earliest films, like Saving Private Ryan and The Iron Giant, to buy his very first starter home for just $562,000. Situated in the center of the Hollywood Hills, this two bedroom, three bathroom property was originally built in 1957 and built in a classic mid-century style. Tucked behind a gated brick courtyard, the home's exterior features lush landscaping as well as a covered pavilion with multiple patios and meditation spaces where Vin no doubt spent a few evenings zenning out to his heart's content. Moving on to the interior, you'll discover a home that's no mega mansion, but it's still got plenty of living spaces that pack in the charm, including a den that serves as a very comfy looking gathering space with French doors that open out to a private patio. Then there's the country style kitchen that boasts Mexican tile accents as well as counters and a built in barbecue that also leads directly into an airy dining room area. Upstairs, the private primary suite boasts a sophisticated feel thanks to beam ceilings, spacious closets, and French doors. As for the ensuite, includes a glass enclosed shower as well as a deep soaking tub. Out back, you'll discover a sun drenched swimming pool and spa combo that provides the perfect finishing touches to this stellar home. Of course, the one problem is that it's not all that big, and once Vin started his family, things had to change. So, in 2013, he initially listed this home for $1.3 million. Unfortunately, he couldn't find a buyer, so he wound up renting it out instead at a rate of around $5,800 per month. My guess? Whoever rented this place from Vin probably paid him promptly, right on time, at the beginning of each month, lest face the dreaded Toretto wrath. After a few years of collecting rent, Vin listed this home once again in 2016, this time for $1.4 million. It's unclear if the home ever sold, but considering I couldn't find a report confirming that it did, I say that there's a pretty good chance that Vin went back to renting this place out. Where did he head afterwards? Well, that is where things get a bit confusing. Well, remember how I told you Vin met his partner Paloma in 2007 and they had three kids? Well, outside of those facts, he's done a good job of keeping the details of his family life under wraps. In fact, we don't even know if he's married or not. He once told Details Magazine, I'm not gonna put it out there on a magazine cover like some other actors. I come from the Harrison Ford, Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino code of silence. That code of silence most definitely extends to his real estate properties too because outside of Vin's starter home where he lays his head at night, well, that's only been whispered about in rumor and conjecture while never being confirmed. For instance, it's believed that Vin owns a $5.2 million home in Beverly Hills and the internet seems convinced that it's this five bedroom, seven bathroom beauty that spans almost 6,000 square feet of space. Boasting a modern exterior that's been offset by a relaxing interior, this serene looking spot also includes amenities like a pool, hot tub, and a tennis court. Nonetheless, I can't 100% confirm this is really his home. One place that we know for sure Vin likes to spend time with his family is actually in the Dominican Republic. Here, he rents properties regularly. In fact, he spends so much time out there that he's even begun ticking off some local neighbors who suggested that Vin 
Vince abusing his power from time to time. While renting a home in the gated community of Fundadora's Juanillo Beach, an unnamed next door neighbor of his told TMZ that Vin's security detail blocked pedestrians in traffic on Easter 2021 so that Vin could ride around the neighborhood on a bike with his kids. The upset neighbor went so far as to write a letter of complaint to Vin, part of which reads, For a few weeks, I've personally witnessed and heard from fellow homeowners the unprecedented and abusive display of your security people around our homes and beach, interrogating us blocking our street with five five or six SUVs stopping residents while walking when you ride your bicycle. A source close to Vin would tell TMZ that the extra security was necessary because the actor's entire family was accompanying him while handing out Easter baskets to the community. Well, when he's not making himself feel unwelcomed in the Dominican, there are also whispers that Vin owns a property in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Encino. According to a listing of Variety two years ago, he got a new next door neighbor when Selena Gomez moved into the house house right beside his. But while we know what Selena's house looks like, Vin has kept his home under wraps and away from prying eyes. Which leaves us with only one last place to check out, his amazing RV. Sometime around 2012, Vin met the folks over at Anderson Mobile Estates, the country's leader in high-end luxury trailers, who manufactured custom-made beauties for Will Smith, Brad Pitt, and Sylvester Stallone over the years. Not looking to be outdone by some of those other big time action stars, Vin bought himself a mansion on wheels as well. Known as the Comfy Cabin, Vin's one of a kind RV featured a raising roof and slide outs, all of which bring the total available floor space on this model to 1,100 square feet. Down on the ground floor, you'll find Vin's lounge packed with suede sofas, a couple of coffee tables, and a large screen TV where he can catch up on his favorite shows or the big game. Off to the side is a small kitchen that still offers a sub zero fridge, a dual burner, a sink, and a microwave, as well as an extra tiny dining nook big enough for two. Not far from the living room is a private conference room, which can offer Finn a bit more privacy for business calls than anywhere else thanks to some thick velvet curtain. There's also a desk in here as well as a couch that probably folds out into a bed. Upstairs, you'll find a small media room with a desk and a bed big enough for two. According to HGTV, Vin's RV features $70,000 worth of tech inside of it, including 3D flat screen TVs and Blu-ray players, as well as state-of-the-art surveillance system. For instance, most Anderson trailers feature fingerprint reading access that restricts anyone other than the celebrity and their family from entering the top floor. Meanwhile, elaborate finishes such as lush fabric, Fabrics, Italian leather, hardwood floors, and granite counters all add up to a reported price tag of $1.1 million. Diesel took this bad boy with him on every movie set he was a part of for years, including the vast majority of the Fast and the Furious franchise as well as the most recent Riddick film. But a few years ago, he decided to move on from this custom RV and sold it back to the manufacturers. They then renovated the trailer and renamed it the Aspen before making it available to rent. All right, everyone, that's going to bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching and do me a favor by considering the following question. What's the best reason you can think of for why Vin Diesel prefers to keep his family life so private? Let me know what you think makes Vin different from so many other Hollywood stars in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure that you never miss an episode. My name is Kara. If you enjoyed this look into the homes of Vin and Diesel, then keep watching because I'm about to take you inside the homes of his upcoming on-screen rival, Jason Momoa. I'll see you all next time. Bye. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. The past few years have definitely been busy for Jason Momoa. Not only has he been putting the finishing touches on his long-awaited sequel to Aquaman, but since appearing in 2016's Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, this Hollywood actor has starred in a total of six DC Extended Universe projects. Unfortunately for Jason, his personal life is also keeping him pretty busy. After meeting his childhood crush Elisa Bonet at a jazz club in 2005, Momoa somehow convinced her to drive him back to the motel he was living in at the time. On the way there, they stopped for some food at a coffee shop and Bonet ordered Guinness and Grits. 
from that point forward, these two were in love. Well, until quite recently, that is. After welcoming their daughter, Lola, in 2007 and their son, Nicole Wolf, the following year, Jason and Lisa moved into a gorgeous estate in Topanga, Los Angeles, with 10.1 acres of land that's believed to be valued at just over $3.5 million. Over the years, Jason occasionally gave his fans a sneak peek into his home life on social media, as well as in an interview with Men's Journal, where he invited the publication to visit him at home and snap a few candid pics. Thanks to that interview, we know that Jason's home, perched on top of the hill on the outskirts of Los Angeles, is full of impressive recreational activities. And I'm talking things that you wouldn't expect, such as a skateboard ramp and a 25-foot climbing wall. Mamola told Men's Journal that he's been climbing walls since he was 14 and skateboarding since he was 8. He specifically discussed his connection with climbing, clarifying, This is my love. It's always kept me humble, grounded, outdoors, and pushing myself, scaring myself. On the wall, it's a flow. You're problem solving, creating something. It's the perfect real world mental and physical test. Want to know another hobby that Jason likes to partake in around his family home? No, it's not preparing a five-star meal. Instead, he likes to pass the time by throwing axes anywhere and everywhere he can. I mean, he's even got his kids doing it. He's also occasionally shown off these shiny weapons in the middle of his home's entranceway. That's how we know he's got a white railing there with steps that lead upstairs to the second floor. When he opens a new delivery of axes to toss around, he's shown them off to his fans by unboxing his newest beauties on a countertop in his kitchen, which boasts dark wooden cupboards and built-in appliances just behind him. Jason and Lisa also kept a greenhouse in their backyard where they grew squash, eggplant, carrots, basil, kale, arugula, and collard greens. I'm using the past tense there because of recent developments. After having been together for well over 15 years, in January of 2022, Jason and Lisa announced that their relationship had come to an end. Jason was the one who moved out, but he didn't go far, and he also didn't move into a new home. Instead, he walked over to his garage, climbed into his RV, and drove away. When Jason Momoa was still in his 20s and hadn't yet met Lisa Bonet, he lived for a number of years at an old Airstream RV that he kept parked near the city of Valencia so that he could go climbing anytime he felt like. After meeting Lisa, a lot about Jason's life changed, but he never lost his love for RVs and the freedom that comes along with hitting the open road. In fact, the Hollywood superstar even showed up to the Aquaman premiere in 2019, not necessarily in style, but in the comfort of his newly acquired Earth Roamer recreational vehicle. We didn't know it at the time, but soon enough, Jason will be spending a lot more time inside that thing. After he and Lisa split early last year, speculation was running wild that Jason was living out of this vehicle, especially once the Daily Mail tracked him down to a friend's lawn not far from where he used to live with Lisa and his kids. With a truck-like body and four-wheel drive, Jason's RV can traverse far more intense terrain than your typical model. Officially speaking, this camper is what's known as an Earth Roamer LTI, and it was entirely custom designed by the star to the tune of around $750 thousand dollars. This was to ensure that it had everything he could need, including a king-size bed, an espresso machine, induction cooktop, and an outdoor kitchen. Now, considering the developments in his personal life, Jason's probably had a pretty tough go of it this past year, but at least he's had the chance to return to his roots, living out of his RV like he's done in the past. One insider told English media publication The Sun, he stays in it quite often and has opted to sleep in there instead of getting a hotel on set so he can be by the beach. He's really not a private jet luxury resort kind of guy. Hey, one thing's for sure, living in an RV, even a luxurious one like this is a lot cheaper than your average celebrity home. When news first broke about Jason and Lisa's split, the general consensus over what happened between them appeared to be related to the DC star's former nomadic lifestyle. After having spent a considerable amount of his young adulthood not working, now that he's one of the most in-demand actors on the planet, Jason wants to continue booking gigs as often as possible, meaning he's almost always on the go. Lisa, on the other hand, was content in Los Angeles and reportedly had no interest on joining her husband on location wherever he happened to have been shooting. So, 
With Jason on the road most of the time and Lisa in LA, the distance eventually took a toll on their relationship. Thus, the split. Thankfully, both actors still care a lot about each other and remain on very good terms. There was even some hope around Christmas time that maybe they were getting back together after Jason was photographed bringing a Christmas tree to his former family home. But according to the follow up reporting, that was simply Jason being a good father and a supportive ex. The two are not getting back together. Which leaves us with one last question. Where does Jason Momoa go next? Well, we did a lot of digging and discovered that according to tax records, Jason actually owns a 5.5 acre property on Kauai Islands, North Shore in Hawaii. But unfortunately, what it looks like is a complete mystery. The only other rumor I could uncover was a suggestion that Jason is building himself a new home in the city of Fort Collins in Northern Colorado. I'll admit this one's probably a reach, but Jason used to live in Fort Collins during that earlier transient period of his life, working as a waiter at a local restaurant while living in the Rams Point apartment complex. A few years later, he decided to move back to Hawaii to pursue surfing, which is what led him to getting discovered for his first big acting role on the 1999 series Baywatch Hawaii. Now, some mysterious individuals hiring work crews and having them all sign NDAs in the Fort Collins area to build a giant new mansion. Could it be Jason? Possibly, but NDAs don't really sound like his style. But wherever Jason ends up next, it likely will have ties to his former life as a nomad. I mean, this is the guy who named his own production company Pride of Gypsies after all. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. Before you head out, consider answering the following question. What's the longest amount of time you could live in an RV for? Let's say it's a glamorous RV like Jason's is. Well, let me know if you could spend years on the open road like Jason can. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara, and if you dug this look into Jason Momoa's home life, then keep watching, because up next, I'm taking you inside the home of Jason's stepdaughter, Zoe Kravitz. I'll see you all next time. Bye.